Welcome to 8-Minute Crimes and Interrogations. We put out multiple videos each week, so if you are a fan of consistent true crime content, please make sure you are subscribed. The absolute best way to support the channel is to subscribe. And if you appreciate what we're doing here, hit that like button. Let us know we're moving in the right direction. Okay, enough rambling. Let's get into it. This interrogation took place on April 13th, 2007. Charles, or David, McAllister was caught up in a sting operation conducted by the Kentucky Attorney General, Greg Stumbo. There is more information on this one in the description, along with a link to McAllister's disgusting chat logs with what he thought was a 13-year-old girl. Here's how his interrogation went. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you tonight? Uh, <laughs> Had better days, I'm sure. Have yeah. Oh, Dave, my name is... Is, it, is that your name, Dave? Yeah. They call you. I know your name is what, Michael? No. Michael D? No, Charles, Charles D, I'm sorry. Yeah. Charles D? But they yes, call you, is that D for David? Yeah. Sorry to call you Dave? Dave, yeah, it's Dave my name is John Sparks. <clears throat> I'm an no. investigator with the Attorney General's Office in yeah. Frankfurt. Yeah. And we are here conducting an investigation involving a situation that brings you here tonight. And we'll talk about that. Uh, are you aware that uh, you are now in custody and under arrest? Yes. Were you advised of your rights? Yes. Okay. Do you understand your rights? Yes. Do you know what your rights are? Yes. Okay. All right. Can I play, Can I uh, go home? Well, not tonight. Through. You came tonight. Uh, um, because being under arrest means right. you've been charged with a crime. Yeah. Don't you understand what that crime is? A crime is unlawful transaction with a minor in the first degree. And we'll talk about that if you want to. Which stems from your contact uh, over the internet with, uh, with, a, with a young lady who was very young, 13 years of age, that you knew about. And uh, if you want to talk about that, we'll talk about that, about what, you know, how you wound up here in northern Kentucky at 1.30 in the morning. Stupidity, and I better leave it to that, I guess, before, okay. before I think. Um, before what? Uh, I think of, oh, God, where I've started my life now. How old are you, Dave? 41. 41? You married? Got kids? Got kids. Are you married? Getting divorced. How long have you been divorced? New Year's Day. Happy New Year. New Year's Day. Yeah. So you're from Hyden? Yeah. It's been a year of my life there, Leslie. Did Hyden. you? Mm -hmm. Back a long time ago. Really? Yeah, I was a trooper there. Back in 75. I believe I remember you. Oh, I don't believe I don't I, I doubt that. You were just you were just a young thing then. You're forty one? Yeah. No, uh, you wouldn't remember me. It's a rough country. Where do you live in Hyden? I'm living in Manchester uh, just at the time being, but I'm moving. I just rented a place in Redbird. There at Red River? Redbird. Oh, Redbird. Yeah. They're off the Redbird River, oh, yeah. Yeah, you work. You, you uh, understand you work at Cold Temple there in Manchester? Yeah. How long you work there? Uh, about February, maybe a year or so. Hello. February. You a Muscle County native? Yeah. Well, I was born in Indianapolis, but I've been raised there. All Everybody's around. born somewhere besides Leslie County. Yeah. But they always wind up back there. John, let's see. I know I'm in trouble. Don't know to what degree. Well, it's pretty serious. It's a felony. Uh, but am I? What I'm asking is, is how bad serious? What well, kind of time am I looking at? Well, um, ten years or better, probably. God Almighty. It was my life. 
you ever been arrested before? Yeah, for petty stuff. You know, Stealing, that, uh, thieving, drugs? No. Got arrested in, for marijuana once. Marijuana? Yeah. Growing? Possession? Uh, yeah. I used to party. I don't anymore. Give all that up. Try to straighten up. I don't know. Look what a mess I'm in now. What do you want to talk about while you're here tonight? Give you your chance to tell your side. Everybody's got a story. Everybody's got a side. If you want to talk to me about it, we'll, we'll listen till the sun comes up or whatever. I don't know what to even say. Or if I should say anything, I mean, you're a good guy. Do what? I said, I don't know what to even say or if I should say anything. Or Well, that's up to you, Dave. I mean, uh, <sighs> you know, I'll be, you know, I'll be, then all you can do is, is, uh, Explain, you know, what prompted you to, you know, communicate with a girl that's 13 years old in the way that you communicate with her. And that's about all there is to it. When it started, I didn't realize she was wanting to hush. I can't tell you what to do, Dave. Only, only you know what what you can do. If you uh, to help you, maybe make a decision on whether or not you want to talk to me or not. Basically, what I want to talk to you about is, uh, is you know, again, what led you here tonight? Uh, I mean, I know what's happened. I mean, it's all, we have it all right. here um, in documentation. Right. And so what I was going to do is I'm not going to sit here and try to embarrass you or humiliate you. It is humiliating and embarrassing. Just, you know, I just want to maybe find out what's going on with you to, to cause this to happen. Now, if you want to talk about it, we will. But if you want, don't want to talk about it, that's up to you, and that's your right. It's, it's cut and dry right there. I mean, I might as well talk about. Well, it is, but there's some other th uh, some other issues that we you know we could possibly explore, and uh, I'd be interested in talking to you about that. Like what? Well, about you know how this took place, where it took place. Has it ever happened before? No, <laughs> no. Well, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to go about this around about matter. You know, we we can either. You know, if you if you waive your right and talk to him, we need to talk about it. We don't need to kind of go back and forth with this verbal jousting, and you answer questions that I want to selectively. Yeah, yeah I understand. You know, selectively answer questions, and then. Now, if you want to talk to me, you don't, you know, if I ask you a question, you don't want to answer it, you don't have to answer it. And I'll go on to the next question, and you could either answer it or not answer it. But before we get into the meat again of why you're here, you know, I need to, you know, have some type of verbal assurance from you that you're, that you want to talk to me. You know, we can talk in generalities all night about the weather or whatever. But right. Is there a way to... For me to help myself by talking to you. I mean, can I go home? Can I, can no, I you can't go home. I can tell you that definitely. Uh, you know, if you want to sit here and talk about this, uh, 
you know, that information will be, I mean, my, the court will be made aware of it, the prosecutor will be made aware of it, and what bearing it will have on them, I don't know. Obviously, people who, you know, cooperate, uh, uh, people take a better, a different look at them or a better view of them than maybe those that don't, but I don't want to uh, sway you or I'll make your decision for you. Uh, there's some pretty serious I was very serious. Comments in here, and yep. it's, uh, it's not the norm, and, and uh, I don't know. Man, oh man. I love that. No, not until you, know, we'll, you look at it. We'll go over the particulars of it if you agree to talk to me, but I can't. We don't need to go over it unless you're willing to go over it with me. It's basically the text of all the conversations you have with this particular young lady. And there's things in there that I won't discuss with you, but I can't until you. Tell me that you're ready to talk to me. If I talk, how bad am I hanging? I'm just tightening the noose, huh? Well... I mean, it's already tight. It's, it's pretty tight noose nowadays. The... Let's talk by the angle. Okay. It appears, Dave, that you started this back in uh, April. Yeah. 
with uh, this young lady that went by the name of uh, Diary of Taylor. I guess you remember that, don't you? Yeah. Sit up here now. Sorry, talk so I can hear you. Well, I've worked since uh, six o'clock yesterday. Morning. Yeah, well, I've been up a long time too today. <laughs> long time. Yesterday morning, yeah, Thursday well, morning. We'll, we'll try to go through this as uh, quickly but as thoroughly as we can. Got nothing but time. You started, started talking with... Uh, this diary of Taylor, did she give you a name other than this? What'd you call it? Taylor, I think. Taylor? Yeah. Is that what you refer to her? I think. Uh, I think you went by what, uh, Dave? Yeah. 40962. Is that Manchester's or Hyden's? Zip. Manchester. Manchester Zip. Where'd you start talking to her from, Dave? At your house, at work, a friend's house? Where were you? Work. And where is it that you work? B and oh, you work at the Coal Temple. Huh? B and W Resources. B and W Resources in yeah. Manchester? Oh, uh, yeah. It was in Clay County or where? Yeah. Okay. And that's Coal Temple? Yeah. And they've got a computer there? Yeah. Okay. Where's it located? Is it in the office or? I got several computers. Okay. The particular one that you talked to her on. Oh, you want to go get it? Well, we may have to. I'd rather you did. Well, <laughs> I mean, I'm in a world if I can. We'll we'll work. I, we'll, we'll we'll cross that we'll cross that hurdle when we we'll get okay. to it. But I just need some particulars. Okay. So they've got several at work. Do you work in an office? That's scale house. Okay. Excuse me. Scale. Scale house. Do you work in a scale house? Uh sometimes I night watch and work around. So you so you do a lot of things. You night yeah. watch. You run heavy equipment there. Yeah. Load load the train. Yeah. Okay. Was it just the one computer there that you used, or did you use several of them? That's the one. The one in the scale house? Yeah. They just have the one in the scale house? Yeah. Okay. Before that day, before back in March, when you started this conversation with Taylor. I, I talked to her in March. Yeah. March 27th was your first contact with her. Okay. Did you talk to anybody else? I've always around on computer. I've never met nobody or nothing. Uh, we had dialogues with other young women, though, I know. I don't know. Well, you know, she told you she was 13. Did you have conversations with other young girls no, like that? No, 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 no. Okay, describe to me the type of conversations you had with people. Who uh, were they? So, just sex was more or less... I mean, sexual content, sexual yeah, related. Yeah. Were they females? Were they men? Well, that's, you get on Yahoo when I started it, it was people on there that talk. And then mm -hmm. anymore, it's pop ups, pop ups, this, that, this, that, that. Say problems? Pop ups. Pop ups, okay. Yeah, you know. What kind of pop ups? Bull. You know. I don't know. Advertisements or what? Yeah. So what's that got to do with? Uh, nothing. Everything. Nothing. <laughs> well, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to understand what the pop-ups have to do with your your getting online and chatting with people. Uh, I don't know. Looking for for a life somewhere. So you were lonely, looking for companionship, looking for somebody to talk to. Kind of. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. You say you were divorced in January of what? Oh seven. Yeah. Or separate. Divorce is final now. Yeah. Divorce is final. Isn't. How long had you been married? Three years, I believe. Okay. Before that, had you been married before that? I've been married three, this made three times. Three times. You struck out all three times. Yeah. How old were you the first time you got married? Eighteen. Eighteen. How old were you when you got married the second time? Let's see. I might have been nineteen. How long, how long did that marriage last? Eight months. Eight months. Okay, do you have any children? One. One. So eight months later, you got divorced. When did you get married again? Uh, 99. So you went a long time. Yeah. How long were you married then? A little over a year. Do you have yeah. any children? One. When did when you get married the third time? Uh, Valentine's Day, uh, Three years ago? No. One year ago. 
Oh six. I'm not sure. February of 06, maybe? 05, 06, maybe? Yeah. But she became separated in January of 07. New Year's Day. New Year's Day. Yeah. All right. Did you see it coming or did it blindside you? Blindsided me. She just up and left. I wasn't. She's the. For somebody else? Was there somebody no, else? No, it wasn't that. She's, she suspect you had some no, problems? No, it was hypertension, schizophrenic. Hypertension, schizophrenic. Yeah. High blood pressure, schizophrenic. I, I guess it should be two different people. Okay. So she just up and left you in January and sent you into a kind of a tailspin, maybe? I've not done any good since. Since then? Yeah. Was that when you started chatting? Dave was yeah I haven't been on computer in years just, okay had you ever chatted prior to January of 07 yeah you have yeah. but how many years prior to January of 07 had you been chatting oh it'd been a while a year or two since I'd even been on computer checked the email or anything well and I uh, yeah. But I'll never be back on doing that. Well, let me ask you this, Dave. Let's get specific. When was the first time that you recall getting online and chatting with someone strictly of a sexual content or sexual nature and you're trying to establish some type of relationship with them like you were Taylor here? When do you first recall that happened? Well, I've always done that ever since I've... That's... Well, has it been 10 years ago? 15 years ago? 5 years ago? When? Oh... Internet had been out that About long. Five. Five years ago. Well, maybe so. Okay. Somewhere in that area. So in between marriages or even maybe while you were married, you, you would get on and chat with women and carry on conversations of sexual nature, sexual content. Is that right? right? Yeah. Okay. They are. There's wild women. Wild women. I know. It. Yeah. Okay. Did you go and meet any of them? Did you start any type of relationship with them in person? No. Was this something, Dave, that you thought was maybe you know, just a fantasy or a way to kill time, or were you sincerely trying to uh, maybe establish a relationship, something you were lacking in your personal life? I uh, was just more or less games, baby. That got, G- games? Uh, yeah, I wasn't. Are you sure you didn't go see anyone? No. Did you ever had any people respond, Dave, before that were? Very young, 13, 14, no. 15. No. This is the first one. Not to my knowledge. Not no. to your knowledge. No. Okay. Adults, women. Adults. Yeah. Where were they from? Eastern Kentucky? All over. All over? Yeah. Sure you didn't go see any of them? No. Okay. All right. Well, let's talk about some of them. Some of the things in here. You made some pretty... I don't know what uh, I made some pretty uh, was wrong. Pretty yeah. rank comments in here. Yeah. Were these the type of comments, Dave, that you would make to some of the older women that you talked to? Duh. Those women don't know that does that right there. I understand. Uh, I guess I just I don't know. So Got that older women would respond down. in kind to what you were saying, similar to what you said here. Is that what you're telling me? That's what would happen. Yeah. And then this young lady who identified herself as 13, this was new territory for you? Just looked over. I was Trying to recapture your youth, or what? Would you I guess mean? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. have an explanation. Stupid. For it. Stupid. Don't have an explanation for it. <laughs> no. Dave, my concern is the fact that there's no other 13 year olds out there that have been affected, whose life could have been devastated. No, sir. Dave. By this type of activity that you've gone and met, and we don't know about. Well, I'll take a lie detector test on my, I you mean. You take a polygraph yeah, that effect? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. We may arrange that at some future point I in time. Do. Let me ask you this, Dave. Hey, did you send anything over the web to, uh, to Taylor? Any cam, any, uh, no, web no. camera? No. Uh-huh. Didn't send anything to her? No. Okay. So, 
I saw through your, your reading through your chatter, you started out pretty pretty tame. You didn't really get too explicit till on up into the after a few conversations. Do you remember that? Yeah. I'll show you. Can I sure. Let me show you something. Here's what started it. And I know exactly what started it. Okay. <laughs> I was I wasn't no way. But there's no excuse for it. Uh, is this the same page again? No, they're all different pages. What is you trying to show me or tell me today that took you that, that? I tried to tell her, I tried to get out of it. It's too old for us. Somewhere there. Well, she certainly didn't. Didn't egg you on? No. No. Wait, I just... No, I ain't saying that. You tell me what you're looking for, Dave, and we'll we'll make note of it for the record, and we'll try to look it up and substantiate it. I was trying to find where I told her that I was too old for. Well, I'm sure there's conversation in there about your age. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Why did I pull this stupid crap? What did you say is under arrest for? Unlawful transaction? Unlawful transaction of my own. Let's put this up there, Dave, because I know what you're saying, that there's a conversation in there possibly about your age and being too old for it. And we'll make note of it. Unlawful transaction of the minor, which obviously you coming to her residence and wanting to engage in this type of activity. Was wrong. Is what, is what makes the charge. Right. Now, 
have you ever what we're concerned about Dave is is, is the children and, and child pornography and preying on people this type of age have you ever no I've never have you ever seen any type of pornography or received any type of child porn no no is there no. any on your computer no absolutely not okay was anyone present with you Dave no or assist you in any way in these transmissions no, no. tell you what to say no you act totally alone by yourself yeah. nobody at work sat there and no I participated I'd with you I was babysitting night watching you know yeah you had a lot of time on your hands, yeah. didn't you? So did you alternate between, like, some days you run heavy equipment, other days night watch? Or? No. I work from 6 o'clock in the morning to, like, 5, 6 at night. Work, and then night watch to 10, 30. Same place? Yeah. Okay. Where, where is your, uh, where do you live? Where, what's your physical address at your house? I live right now at work. In the office. Well, you got a house somewhere. I don't have a physical address. I mean, I just rented it. And it's electric's not hooked up. Okay. Well, where did your 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 chat transmissions, Dave? They didn't all come from work. They, they yes. according to this, some of them came from somewhere other than work. Are you certain of that? I mean, everything came from from work. Leslie King Library. I stopped and see if she was on there one time. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Well, you make reference in there that your computer was down. I thought you made reference at one time that your computer was fixed. I lied. You just lied? Yeah, okay. I did. I was... So you may have used the, the library computer? No, that was a, when I told her it was down, I stayed off the computer. She okay. wanted to know why I had to talk to her. And I told her. You, just, you made that up. Yeah. But what I'm asking is, other than the computer at work, there at the, at the scales, did you use the computer at the library to, to chat with her? Well, I don't think so. You don't no. think so? I think I just brought her ID up and said, I'll be on here later. And she wasn't online. Quick. That's the if if you may have used the computer at the library, which library computer would it have been? There in Manchester or Hyde? Hyde. There in Hyde. But I didn't talk to her. Okay. You know, it's just, but did you use the computer there at Hyde and Son? No, I just stopped in there and see if she's online. Tell her I'd be on later. That's that and then when you went to work, you got on, carried on your chat at work. Yeah. Okay. Other than being just stupid, they were saying you you made a stupid mistake. Do you have any other explanation or anything you want to say? What can I say? Well, I don't know. That's now's your time to time to say know something. I pulled that stupid stuff. No, I don't know how I got. Well, you got into it gradually. You started this a number of years ago, talking with women that you said responded in kind, and you got a thrill out of it. Well, how did I get this? Well, I don't know. Huh. I guess it was plowing new ground for you. I don't know. I mean, I don't what got in your mind to drive 200 miles to see a 13-year-old that you were going to have all kinds of different sex with, as alluded to in your chat? I don't know. It just didn't happen yesterday or two hours ago or day before yesterday. This is something that's been in the works for several weeks. You had plenty of time to think about it, think of what direction you were going and where this was headed and could call it off at any time. <laughs> you don't know. But you made a conscious decision to get in the vehicle and get prepared for this weekend and travel up here. Now, you know, only you can tell me how that occurred in in the mindset of Charles D. McAllister from Hyden, Kentucky. Buddy, I started not talking to her, not talking to her. Something's going on somewhere. She said, are you mad? Are you coming? Are you still coming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a father of two children, I can't imagine you get in a car and come I, out. What if some guy? That ain't no good, buddy. Came it's, to see your daughters. Your daughters live with your wife, your your ex wives. My daughters married. But... Okay, both of them. Uh, uh, Where do you sleep, Charles or David? In the car, back room at work. 
there at work? Yeah. Haven't slept in about 40 hours, 40 some hours. Okay. Have you taken any drugs? No, I don't take no, no, drugs. No, no. no, you don't take You drugs. took some type of drug before you got out the car. Uh uh-uh. uh. There at the residence. Uh uh-uh. uh. Didn't take any drugs? No, I still got it. Still got it. Okay. All right. Well, they took some kind of pills up from you. Yeah, but I don't reckon that's drugs. How far did you go in school, David? High school. Graduated? graduated. Yeah, graduated. Leslie County? Yes. What year did you graduate? 1984. Where did you grow up in Leslie County? Hell for certain. Hell for certain? Yeah. Oh, that's a familiar territory. I grew up. Who's your parents? Okay. Dave, is there anything else you want to tell me? How's your time? Any explanation you want to give that the prosecutor would be interested in listening to or anything you can tell me that... uh, we need to look into or anything that uh, you want to say. I'm uh, just glad it didn't go through, you know. I am too. And why, you know. I am too. I don't know how it got caught up in there. <laughs> I really don't. Well, like I said, you had you had ample time to call it off and think about it, I'm sure. But you're, from according to Chad here, your thoughts mostly were, were uh, never never crossed your mind that this is something you need to step back and take a take a strong look at. It. Oh yes, it did. I just didn't vo- didn't divulge it. To her. Right. That was those days that. I didn't talk. She'd ask me if I was mad and so. Right. That's, that's, I told him my computer was down. Well, let's take a break here a minute, Dave, and fill this citation out. You know, if you get stopped for speeding or you go out here and commit right. murder, everybody gets a citation. I think you've been through the, been through the drill before, so let's oh, get a little yeah. bit of information here from you and take a break from talking. You want something to drink? You want, you want pop? Some water? I'd love to smoke sugar. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a no-no these days. You want anything to drink? Yeah. No, I'll get you something. What do you want to drink? Coffee. I don't know if you got any coffee. You don't want pop or water? Uh, yeah. Uh, you may get you something when you leave here. That car that you drove up I'm here today. I'm just so glad that it didn't go through. What about the car? That car, is that your car? Yes, it's my car. Your vehicle and all your property that was taken from you will be kept until you are released. And at some point in time, it'll be turn to you. Think I'll be released? At some point in time. I don't know when that'll be. It'll be for you know the court to decide, the judge to decide. When will the judge make a decision? Probably Monday. Maybe in between now and then you get caught up on your sleep. I'm broke. What's the chances of me you're broke? Yeah. Coming back on my own recognizance, you reckon? I don't know. I just don't know. Do they do that here? Well, they do it everywhere if you meet the criteria. What kind of criteria is that? Well, what you, you know, your past records, the charge, the seriousness of charges, that's a uh-huh. decision. It's not in my pay grade. Well, I'll be sitting in a while. Uh, I guess it's a middle-aged deal, crisis. Think so? Yeah. It's, I find it intriguing that I'm going to 
girl wanted to warn me. It's exactly what it is. Yeah, it, uh, it uh, appealed to you as a, as a male that you thought you were the 13 year old found a 40 something year old male attractive. I sure know if it appealed to me. No, it, but you thought that. That's. Well, maybe you've hit bottom and and can uh, get squared away and start moving back up the ladder at some point. Think of anything wrong on that ladder? Hmm? I don't like the way you said that. Well, it's some point. <laughs> maybe started about uh, one ten this morning. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Pulled in that driveway. And then go back up, start climbing up. Is my car impounded or parked? No, it's impounded. And uh, there is an impound fee on it. Well, I say impounded. It's held here. The problem, I don't know, I'm assuming it'll be held here at the police department, which. I don't know their policy. You know, I don't know if it's not like it's going to be held in a garage to where they're racking up charges every day. I don't know how that's going to work. But can I have somebody come and get it? You can possibly uh, arrange that. Uh, at some point in time, Dave, you will... Uh, uh, well, I will not get out of jail. Well, they'll let you make some calls. I ain't going to ask nobody to uh, well, bail me out of jail. You need to be thinking about what you're going to do as far as taking care of that kind of business because you have to go on with your life even though it's somewhat uh, somewhat uh, there ain't no way uh, you sit tight here okay. and uh, somebody being here to get you a minute thanks for talking to me uh, sorry could be more All right. help you just sit tight somebody will be with you here in a minute alright hey is the jail non-smoking I don't know. Uh, let me ask you before we, before we conclude here. Let me ask you a question here. Uh, when they inventoried your car, Dave, they found uh, some clothing in the back of the car. The red skirt, blue tops, looked like it belonged to a small child. You know anything about that? It's not nothing. Well, explain, explain what it. I'd have to see the clothing before I could even explain it. Rags? Was it rags? Oh, we have rags at work. Uh, uh, baby clothes. Small girl clothing. I don't know. Was baby clothes size My step girl was having a baby. She was been getting clothes. Uh, Your stepdaughter. Has just had a child? She's having a baby. Well, this is small girl clothing that appears to have been cut. Them rags. Well, I don't know. You, you tell me what they are. I have a rag box. It were grease rags. It were. Okay. Really? And it's little girl's clothing? Yeah. That's a grease, grease well, rag. Well, yeah. I'd show you all kinds of... That's what they are. Okay. That's... In the back floorboard of my car is rags, and in the back trunk of the car is rag, rag, grease rags. It comes in a box of rags. It works. Well, now you know, Dave, this, with the situation that you find yourself right. in now, uh -huh. this, this is bad <laughs> medicine. And I hope for your sake that's what it is. Now, are you sure that's what it is? Polygraph. <laughs> yes, well, I'm positive. Okay. <laughs> And the floorboards where they, uh, I cleaned the car the, the other day. Well, they come right out of a box of rags. These mail enhancement pills, where'd you pick those up? Store somewhere. What kind were they? I don't know. Now you know what kind they were. No, I don't. Are they prescription or are they over the counter? Over the counter. Why not? Those things don't work. Where'd you get this DVD deep inside the Virgin? Buddy. 
ordered by Bobby. Where? Flea Market. Which flea market? Hazard. Hazard. Hazard has a flea market that sells DVDs, pornographic DVDs. Anybody? I don't know who it was. Who it was about it. It's a flea market dude. Three boxes of condoms. Yes. Somebody be get come to get your next day. In jail, can? Yeah, no, it's a smoke free facility. I heard that on this time to quit. I'm sorry, go ahead. I heard that on this time to quit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I said I'll be with you a while. No, they're wide open. They're on lock. Well, when the last person leaves, which I hope is pretty soon, because I'm, you know, when, when, when you all clean up and those, those guys leave, and then I'm with I'm, I'm here till the last person leaves, and I'm locking the doors up right now. My car. Can I get somebody to come get it? What? I said you just going to park it out here or something instead of impounding it. Yeah, we're going to impound it, but we're not sure we're giving it back. Okay, will back. But my property, my toes. So. Oh, oh, yeah, you can get that. Why wouldn't you get my car? Because it was used in the commission of a felony. Well, we don't know that yet. It's a work car. I need it. Huh? I need my work car. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. They're just talking about it. I, like I said, at this point, they're, you know. Uh, I don't even know how I got piled up. Man. See you tomorrow. Okay, are, are, are all okay? You want to come out here now? We'll get you out of here, okay? Yeah.